Good morning, Mohai Rabotai Bezal Shem 610. We will be doing Minha and Siri Hot is going to be 525. Please be on time. Rem- remember the halacha that we were discussing yesterday. We were talking about uh, eggs that were uh, laid on Yom Tov and they got mixed in with other eggs after they were cooked. And you don't know which egg was the one that was laid on Yom Tov and then the eggs were peeled. So the question is, uh, can we say Davash Yeshua Matim? So he said, since peeled eggs are actually a sul to leave overnight, because if you leave them overnight, you're not allowed to eat them the next day. It becomes a danger to eat them. As the Gemara says, Damo Berosho, a person who, who has a peeled egg or a peeled garlic, uh, those are examples, or a peeled onion, the Gemara says. Those types of cases, all those items that are fully peeled and they stayed overnight, you're not allowed to eat them. So it becomes a davar she'en lo matirim. That's what we spoke about yesterday. What's an interesting halacha that emerges from this, something that actually happened uh, before Rosh Hashanah and is going to happen before Sukkot, we did Eruv Tavshirin. And a lot of people use an egg for Eruv Tavshirin. What's Eruv Tavshirin? You take before the holiday, when it's connected to Shabbat, like a three-day Yom Tov, you take before the holiday an egg and a matzah or an egg and bread, and you say, Beden Eruvah, you make a bracha on it, and it allows you to prepare from the Friday, which is the second day of Yom Tov, to the Shabbat. So what happens if I take an egg and I take a bread and I go ahead and I peel the egg? So now the egg is peeled and it's the beginning of the Yom Tov. So Bemit, person has to be very careful because if he's going to use an egg, he has to make sure not to peel the egg. Because once the egg is peeled, then it becomes asu if it stays overnight. So therefore, a person uh, does have to watch out for that. That was a scenario that happened. At the end of the day, if, if by mistake he did peel the egg, the halakha would be that you'd be able to, in that case, to be reliant on the eruv of the rav. So there wouldn't be a problem in that sense. But l'chatchira, when you're making the eruv, be conscious of the fact that the egg should not be peeled until at least you start the preparations. Once you've already prepared on Friday all of your preparations, then already you're allowed to have the egg peeled, but the masets, uh, the minhag is, the custom is to leave the egg as is until Sudat Shabbat. Some people wait till Sudat Shishit, some people Friday night, whatever it is, but then to eat the eruv, because uh, it's a mitzvah to eat the eruv once already Shabbat has entered, for sure that would be okay, but to not peel it before that point in time. Baruch Adonai le'olam, amen ve'amen.